yesterday in AQ Worlds, they did the event for Kulong's wedding. And with that event came a lot of really nice looking items. So let's go through those, how to get them. There's some rare drops as well as the house on Curlian. So let's go over all of that. Okay, gonna start off with the rare drops, but very quickly want to go through the house that was added first because I think it's probably one of the coolest items I added in this update. Other people might not like houses as much as I do, but yeah, so featured gear shop, house tab, that's where you'll find this one. It's a rare item it's called the Jin Wedding Venue. It's 1500 AC, so mm, not crazy expensive, but not on the cheap side either uh, as far as houses go. It's got the rare tag on it does have customization and it is one of the better if not one of the best houses in the game at least in my opinion of every single house I've ever released it's like a customization here looks very nice uh, massive rooms it's kind of outdoors which might not be to your taste I understand that people might want, want more interiors for decorating stuff very understandable it does have an interior room over here as well which looks really nice I think it's one of the best rares released in a long time in AQ Worlds and probably one that people will want to have and this will probably be an IODA thing in the future uh if people still IODA stuff in the future let's hope uh but anyway so consider this out of the rare shop another highlight of the rare shop is the eternal flame of course it's for Kurong's wedding so it is a rare item as well only available right now it's member only or AC tag and it is unique uh from other eternal flames because it has a transparency to it so the background behind it will change the color of it as you can see here it's like more blue and then you go behind the pillar and you can see it's more of a white color and yeah so pretty unique eternal flame even though it is blue and there are tons of blue flames in the game already but it does have its little special niche all right on the Krolong map we can go through all of the rares first and then we'll go through the non rares from the actual boss so rares first a total of 10 rares uh we'll start off with the first one the armor being this one here uh so it's a recolor of the other one kind of looks more robot or like metal version of it sort of and then you have helmets to match with that as well morphs i really like the uh the lower jawbone on that one looks really cool and then you got the skull with the eyes the eyes of cc on that as well so very cool very cool and also this helmet traveler has a different name but that's also a drop so that's for that set of items. So you got the armor and then the four different helmets there. And the other five rare drops are this set here. Uh, so you have this weapon, which is color custom. As you can see on my character there, kind of a smaller blade than you'd like, but also not too bad looking. You have the bow, spear, helmet, which I think I was wearing earlier in the video. Very cool helmet and wings as well. Very nice. So these are all color custom and rare. So yeah. Pick up the set before it's gone okay there's a second set of items these are, these are seven items from the guy that aren't rare they're awesome rarity and they're used in the merch shop mostly i would imagine so these items need to pick up for them they look the same as the ones that are equipped on my character they're just more of like a plain non-gold version of them i don't have the armor to show you because i turned it in to merge for one of the armors in the merge shop <laughs> and i don't really want to refarm it but it's just a play it's just a plain look like you can understand what it looks like it's called Honored Sansi guest if you're looking for it in the drop list. So anyway, so we got the helmet, the bandana here. Looks pretty nice, actually. These items are not CC, though, so you're stuck with the brown there. All of these luminous items here are also drops. I'm not going to equip them the same size and everything as the other ones, but uh, you can see they're also not color custom. So there you go. And the last one's this cool looking storm spear. Uh, and that's all of the drops there. The only one I didn't show you is the armor, but you can understand it's just normal looking armor it's a non-cc version of the one that's in the merch shop and let's go through that now so when you finish the quest line there's only three quests very limited uh, so really easy to get through <laughs> no struggle at all there so you'll get access to the merch shop merge is really easy it's all just the quest rewards from the three quests you did uh the last one's for the boss and the other two are just in different maps all very easy very quick to farm so if you want any of these items they're very easy to obtain no crazy hoops to jump through so this is the armor i was talking about so a normal like uh non-color custom system all the black on here is color custom it would be brown that one drops off the boss that so you need to get to the honored sensei guest here anyway yeah, so that one drops there got that one there as well very cool veil as well here 
It's a nice helmet. You can have Krolong's actual head, which is cool. <laughs> I, I don't know. Is this different? Let me know in the comments. Is this different from his normal helmet? Because it's called Wedding Morph, right? It, it looks like his normal helmet. But anyway, it's cool that it's available to players there. And that's all you get in the merch there. Really nice items. I think they, they look really good. Well themed. I actually farm for the armor. So good little merch shop. Next part of the update takes place in the Hydra Challenge map. I actually made a video about this earlier this week, going over items that they added for the midweek update. Those are now CC and available in the Hydra Challenge map from the Dewdrop NPC. If you don't have the little fairy here, you have to do the quest Urshan. Don't know why you're playing in Worlds and you haven't defeated Urshan yet, but I looked it up on the wiki. Someone asked about that in the comment section because I've always had the fairy here, so I never really even thought about it. But if you don't have him here, do the main 13 Lords of Chaos. What are you doing? What are you doing? Okay, so uh, once we go, we're, we're over that now. Uh, and I imagine 99.9% .9 of people have finished that quest. But anyway, uh, so the color custom variant of the armor is available. And probably the coolest part of the set is the cape being CC. But of course, you do have the rest of it as well. I, I do also like the weapon, although you can't get the dual wield of it uh, without being a member. Uh, so that kinda, that's kind of lame, but... Yeah, the weapon's really nice there, but the cape is definitely the big ticket item here with the CC on that. Equip that on a character. Look how cool that looks. Uh, zoom in here. Look. Yo, that looks so sick. So, very cool. Farmable item here. It's not going to go rare or anything, but that's a new item added. So, if you'd like some CC Hydra gear, it's available in the Hydra challenge map from that NPC. Lastly, for the updates this week, the Future Gear Shop did receive some new items in them, some new rare shop items, one of which was kind of disappointing to me, but let's go through the weapons first. So, you have these ones, which have small damage boosts on them, which aren't really uh, relevant at all, but hey, uh, I mean, it's only a million gold for 15% damage boost if you have a brand new account. Pretty decent. <laughs> so, you got these ones as well nice I got blue version so these are rare items as well blue I, I bought that one I bought a bunch of these uh this one the dual wheel with the green and blue very very nice so big fan of the weapons I usually don't buy that many weapons but I bought quite a few from this update I love the art for them uh, you got another spear there as well so very good very good on the armor side of things you have this outfit which is a color swap of the one in the merge shop rare item if you'd like that, not a massive fan of the look of it, but hey, uh, pick that up if you like it. And you got this one, which is very detailed armor. Really cool. I'm uh, not picking it up personally, but I do see the appeal to it. Also, why does it look like it has a, I see a flame. Is there a flame animation on it? Maybe there is. I don't know. Yeah, it looks really detailed, really nice. And I think it looks really good when you mix, mix and match it with the actual helmet that it comes with. Uh, but yeah, so seasonal item here as well for the raccoon set that's in there. Really like the dress. Not a big fan of slippers, but that's my take on that. Moving over to the helmet section, you got a few of the Krulong helmets with the armor that are the silver versions instead of the gold that's in the merge. So you can pick that up if you want. I'd actually prefer the gold one probably, but you got some of the raccoon ones uh, with the little cheapy raccoon guys on there. Uh, the hair, uh, man... Not a big fan of the long hair. I do like the hairstyle they chose for this. I kind of want to buy these, but they're seasonal items, so they'll be back. Maybe next year they'll be back with shorter hairstyles. Who knows? But the face is very cute on there, too. It's a unique face, the little nose. Uh, so that's nice. So cool morphs and everything. Raccoon ones are nice, but I don't know. I, I can't wear them because the long hair I, it annoys me. Anyway, little leaves. Funny. So you got them without the stuff on them. You got the armor matching there with the other piece. It looks really out of place with this, like, kind of a clash of art styles there. But when you match it up with the actual armor, looks pretty sick, uh, to be honest. That looks pretty good. Those are some good, good helmets there. So, yeah, check those out. That set, the rare as well, so might be a good pickup if you want some rare metal armor outfits all right so in here you have these color custom ores that are rare as well so the difference between them is the white and black so and then you can change the other color on them 
it's just a base so you see this base white and i think my cc is black anyway so this one will be like fully blacked out yeah so some cool little auras there 500 ac is a pop seems kind of expensive for what these are in my opinion but i i would definitely buy both of them at 250 a pop i'm kind of hesitant on even buying one of them at 500 but that's just me uh maybe you guys are will think that's a reasonable price but a raccoon tail if you want to cosplay as a raccoon there so pretty nice uh the eternal flame that we went over earlier just a good little rare to pick up there more tails so all the it seems like the whole raccoon stuff's all seasonal I'm a little disappointed in it, to be honest. No. But mostly just about the hair part. I think the rest of the set's pretty good. You have carts as capes, which is a weird thing. I think one's like for pushing and pulling. It does look kind of funny when, you're, when zoomed out and you're pushing the cart, but that's something. This is a rare I bought. Uh, that's a portal, and uh, it's definitely a snake coming out of that portal and nothing else. Uh, I don't know what you're thinking about, but yeah, it's a snake coming out of a portal. And uh, I definitely bought the 500 ACs. That's a banger rare item. <laughs> very cool, very cool. And then you got the little butterflies as well. Which look like they were drawn in about 30 seconds, but hey. <laughs> so that is what it you got a bank pet as well, a rare bank pet for rare bank pet collectors. It's kind of cool. I, I don't really, yeah, I don't. Bank pets are always overpriced, in my opinion. Just having the bank functionality on there, I don't think it's worth 2,000 adventure coins, but that's just me. Raccoon ground rune, little mushrooms and stuff. Kind of interesting. Uh, they had some f house items like umbrellas, which are really cool, seasonal. Uh, the cart for ACs, more carts for ACs. Uh, some free carts for gold. So yeah, I got some house items in there if you want to decorate your house up along with the house that I, sh I that was shown earlier in the video as well. So yeah, bunch of cool gear, lots of good items this week. Just really good update week. Uh, the cutscene was nice for the event as well. Definitely, a, I, this is definitely a login week. You know, a lot of weeks, I'll say, if you ask me uh, whether you should log in or not. It, honestly, it's probably not really worth logging, but this week, Pretty good stuff, some good rare drops they get from the boss, cool items in the shop, and um, pretty decent event all around. So, yeah, thanks for watching this video. Leave a like on it. If you liked it, comment down below. Do you enjoy the event as much as I did? Let me know down in the comments. Leave a comment about anything, to be honest, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.